I was working for the election and uh, I was, I guess it was a bit of a prayer to kind of send this guy named John on his way. Our Prime Minister is named John Howard and he did all kinds of nasty stuff like, you know, uh, use child abuse to basically uh, steal indigenous land so there, therefore he could mine uranium on it, all kinds of nasty stuff. He was a, he was a class A character. And, um, and George Bush used to call him the deputy sheriff of the South, you know, it's like, he's my deputy sheriff. And uh, it was classy. So uh, right before the election, I kind of wrote this song, and uh, it's, it's called Johnny's Gone. So I was like, well, you know, it's a pretty twisted world, you know. I was really surprised when George Bush got in after that really screwed up election. I thought, there's no way this guy's getting voted twice, and he did. And so, uh, if you no believe in shit. democracy in this country, at least, and um, in my country, and uh, and he did. And so I was thinking, well, maybe maybe John will get in as well. So you're writing this song, Johnny's Gone, and he might still be around. And then I was thinking to myself, you know what? Johnny's gone anyways, even he's elected, he's gone in the head, his heart, his spirit, he's gone, it's somewhere else. You know? So this is a, a little ditty called Johnny's Gone. <laughs> you can take like a bit of the low mid off the stage. I feel like I'm being raped by a, a low end brown note monster. <laughs> and I'm trying to look like I'm enjoying it at the moment. <laughs> it's pretty lame, huh? I'm sitting on my ass and all these balls are getting up and I should be good. <laughs> Now we got to say he's gone, gone. 